Good morning, everyone. BTC Simmer here with you. Afternoon, good evening, good night, no matter where you may be. You could be anywhere, for all I know. <laughs> Alright. We're here, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Sim Update 12. That's right, Sim Update 12. Big anticipated update, just like every update. Um, and there's a lot of hype around the updates. Um, I don't get too caught up in them. There's not a whole lot of changes for what I do, but uh, I'll read off some of the stuff that's uh, it's been updated and what they what they've done here. So before anything, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, it's about a nine gig update. It'll update right when you fire it up for Steam. I don't know how it does it with Xbox, but uh, not a hundred percent sure there. I'm just gonna get out of the wind here. You can hear that wind just rustling around. Jump down in here. There we go. Much better. It's windy day here. Inverness. Um, yeah, so let's get, uh, get positioned over here. Take a seat. All right. So, big bad update. Let's see. Let's see. So it's um, at least a brand new update for Microsoft Flight Simulator. According to the release, release notes, Sim Update 12 optimizes the checking for updates. So I didn't notice it uh, speed up my boot up any quicker, but uh, apparently it speeds up your, your boot up and it uh, won't crash as much uh, during loading. I haven't had a crash since Sim Update 9 or 10. One of the two. Um, but before that, I used to get a lot during the actual sim, not during boot up or anything, but, uh, that's good for people that have uh, that issue and, uh, it, uh, speeds it up for some of us. So we're right on. Um, another thing, this, uh, turbulence, I guess you can select the intensity of turbulence and the assistance options or something like that. So that's good. Um, a few language, uh, localizations an input key for the toggle flight assistant panel and a spotlight event pack pack of activities now available in the marketplace so if you like those things i don't know if those are free or not uh, let's check it out after several crashes fixed across the title um, bug in the purchase flow of my marketplace which i tend not to purchase anything from just can't toy with it right so um, visibility issues with your interior and exterior model uh, yeah, a bunch of, bunch of little things it looks like, which is good, because little things do get annoying when uh, you least expect them, right? Glass cockpit navigation. So a few things about the glass cockpit, if you guys are interested, um, have a look. Weather, uh, heat-only thermals are limited in height up to the cloud base. Limited and tuned negative thermals around clouds and hot ground. I like that the thermals are there. I kind of think they're a little wonky. We'll see how it goes with this update. I haven't flown anything or tested anything yet, but uh, I do feel they're a little wonky coming um, over water, cloud, and land when you, you first come back and you start bouncing around. So see if they've done anything with that. Reduced uh, thermals close to ground. Partially fixed improved thermal slanting and cloud alignment. Okay, uh, blue hot ground thermals. So. They've definitely done some work on the thermals. We'll see how that uh, how that plays out. General live weather improvements. Live weather now uses server time instead of local time to avoid inconsistent or no live weather. I thought the live weather was pretty good after... Was it Sim Update 10 or 11? I don't, there's one where they really fixed it. And it it's actually, I have Rex, but I don't even use Rex anymore. So um, I got Rex because I was flying in Greenland and everything was snow covered when it wasn't supposed to be so <laughs> rex fixed that up but uh, activity fixed various issues on leg start and bush trips training activities are now recorded in the logbook okay so yeah there's, there's a few things fixed for sure um have a look have a look at the update notes and uh i think the big thing is they want to fix these crashes at the start and uh optimize a few different things so um Seemed like there was a lot of hype around it. I, I don't don't really know why. Maybe maybe because I usually just fly the otter and uh, don't uh, delve into too much of what the update contains. But some people really like their updates, which is good, which is real good. 
All right, guys, we're here at Inverness. We're headed down to Edinburgh. We have one mission job and one cargo job for a total max of 3,200 pounds, 3,205. Going up to flight level 100, got 159 gallons of fuel, and it's around 100 nautical mile flight. It comes out to about 113. Uh, planned through, planned through sim brief. So, got everything planned through there. Uh, the route is Gussie and Nesdi. Airway N560, Urson, and Grace. So, let me have a quick look and see if uh, any centers are on. I don't see anything, so we don't have to follow anything too specific, but uh, it's always better when that sim is on, of course. A little windy up here. Um, I believe it's still VFR, but uh, there is some wind coming off the runway there. Enneboro's VFR. Uh, no, we're marginal here at uh, Inverness. So Enneboro's 28 knots at 240, so the wind's straight down the runway. We've got a ceiling down there of 3,600 feet, which is good. Uh, Inverness, let me check that again here. 31 to 43 knots at 220, so definitely using runway 23, and uh, we're going to get airborne very quick, very quick, with the uh, pressure 28.88 for my buddies across the pond, 978 hectopascals, and uh, scattered 1800, broken 24, so marginal VFR here, six and a quarter mile visibility. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll be taxing out of here, taking a two, three, and heading down to Edinburgh. All right, with all that said, with all that said, sim update 12, the big anticipation. What's the big hype about the Anatov 225? I'd I don't know if I'd ever fly that plane in this game, but some some people just love it. <laughs> it's good it's optimized for Xbox and stuff, so if you guys enjoy that kind of thing, um, maybe I'll search some videos on that, have a look at that, that thing. That's a that's a massive aircraft. You could probably shove like 100 Twin Otters inside there. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Yeah, so there's a, there's a huge hype around that thing. Um, I guess it's a, it's a big cargo hauler is a big idea. And, and it got it, it got blown up in the got blown up in the conflict I want to call it. But uh, is, is there any active flying for real? If anyone knows, if if uh, if anyone knows if that air, aircraft still flies or or what, if there's any any around or there's just the one that was blown blown up and that's it. Let me know. I haven't I really delved into that that particular airplane. So okay. Anyways, guys, we're gonna get to the price price BTC here right at this second. 28 3 5 7 American dollars 28 3 5 7 so we're maintaining right around 28 uh, 38 5 44 Canadian uh, trued bucks um, Canadian this has got to be the worst uh, <laughs> alt currency ever that, I, I remember one guy uh, um, the great Adam Meister I'll quote him he said that uh, the American dollar is, is basically the, the Bitcoin of the fiat world and everything else is the S coin, like the Canadian dollar is the, the S coin and everything else. And he's absolutely right. Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny. So yeah, 28, three, uh, three, five, seven and 38, three, five, four, four Canadian. Remember guys, it doesn't matter the fiat price. We're going to, we're going we're gonna to blow through the roof. It's going to be outrageous but uh, remember one bitcoin is one bitcoin like it says on the screen there long long term long time preference long time preference decades guys decades you got to think decades when you're putting this stuff away you don't want to touch it unless you absolutely have to um generational stacking right comes with the long time preference you know create a life create uh create what you can out of life and um if you have an emergency you know your sats will be there it's cold storage save them put them away forget them that's, that's the way it goes in the bitcoin realm all right let's read a couple of headlines here <laughs> kathy wood arc i don't care about that yeah it's just it's a bunch of s coin stuff that isn't really about anything um okay here bitcoin a seven btc 72 percent profitability spike herald's potential move to 69,000. 69,000 guys. Man's favorite number. 69. 69,420. That'll be a marker for all us Bitcoiners out there. Uh, seized exchange. Seized exchange Bitslato. Bitslato. Bitslato allows users to withdraw 
50% of Bitcoin. Well, I guess that's better than uh, uh, Bankman. <laughs> Remember that uh, that tool? Um, okay. Uh, what else we got? Bitcoin 30k bets. Greet FOMC as analyst warns over long liquidations. Uh huh. Um, I read one here the other day about. What was it here? I don't know. I, I can't find the headline now, but uh, oh, there's a couple of headlines there for you guys. Stack the stats, guys. Ignore the noise and uh, continue on with life. All right, let's get going. We'll speed up our checks here. All right, guys, we're ready to push back here. Get our pushback guy, get him over here. And uh, we'll be pushing back and taxiing out toward 2-3. I think we'll be using, uh, what is it, Echo? Um, Alpha Echo, Foxtrot. Or we could backtrack. Could backtrack. Uh, maybe we'll backtrack, I don't know. If any centers are on, nothing yet. So let's. I will do Alpha Echo. Alpha Echo Fox Drop. Take off from the intersection there. Alright. Everness traffic, uh, November 3845 Bravo, type twin otters, taxiing from the main apron uh, to runway 23 via Alpha Echo Foxtrot. Uh, Inverness traffic. Well, let's get a bird's eye view. This airport I picked up off the marketplace months and months ago. Link will be in the description, though it just says marketplace in the link. It's an Arbex airport, so pretty well detailed. Pretty good one. They leave this apron open, which is good for uh, all the VAT sim that comes in here. Speed this up a bit here. I taxi in here with the parking brake on because it just there. <laughs> when he connects, it connects properly. So now I released it, so now it'll go faster for sure. But if you go too fast, the tail end will strike. <laughs> and we don't want to do that.
So yeah, this flight we're going down to Annaboro. Next flight we're going to uh, Prestwick. Then off to uh, Kirkwall again. And then Tyree to finish our mission jobs. So that's the itinerary for the future flights. And we'll try to bring cargo along with us um, from those airports on our flights. Like this one we have one small small load of cargo, but it's all that was available. So. All right, we'll let him get out of our way and we'll taxi. Sure, we got our taxi lights on. Throw ten degrees of flaps on. Got our auto feather on. We got our racing on. We'll check all this before we take off there. Go ahead with our run up here. Anti ice on. Double check it. Looks good. Fuel quantity checked. Looks good. Boost pumps are on. Rotor trim tabs. Plate instruments checked. Runways aligned. Courses aligned. Pressure set. Autopilot set. Flaps we got them at 10. Engine instruments within limits, pedo heat is on. Transponder, landing lights, turn those on, taxis off. Okay, it's gonna be a quick, uh, be airborne very quick here. Never does traffic, uh, November 3845 Bravo, taking off runway 23, the intersection of 29 Foxtrot, uh, Inverness traffic. Get herself lined up. <laughs> those wing wheels, those wing wheels. <laughs> you gotta you gotta aileron right into that wind if you uh try to go the other way as you see. Just with that wind blowing, look at it. <laughs> crazy. Especially with a high wing, it's even worse. The 
go hold it there around 30. And 400 feet flaps will go up, uh, throttle properly adjusted. Do a quick gups check and then uh, make our turn on the course. Error already airborne. Airborne time logged. Just like that. Goodbye, Inverness. Okay, flaps can go up. Throttle can come back out of the red. Props ever so slightly, just touch them back. Just a touch. Drag ups check, gas looks good, undercarriage, you just adjusted the throttle, landing lights go bye-bye, pedo heat stays on, pumps are on, all right, looking good, Everness nice traffic, uh, November 3845 Bravo, 1300, making a left turn on the course, good day, Everness. Nice. Climbing rate out at 100, which is good, climbing speed, nice 20 degree turn, you don't want to put this on, yell out amper. Air course lining up there nicely. And now it's away from us again. <laughs> yeah, my trim's not adjusted. We gotta get rid of our auto feather and we'll do our climb check just to make sure. So climb check, flaps are up. Yes, they are auto feather. We just turned it off. Climb power set, landing lights. Climb power is set. Yeah, it's 40 ish, over 40. Landing lights are off. Okay, and best speed is about 100 knots. You can just see that wind pushing us, pushing us ever sideways like that. It's just crazy. We're going to have to offset our course a little bit in order to uh, follow it. The amount of wind we're getting. So, so far Sim Update 12 seems pretty good. Doesn't Like I said guys, it doesn't affect me too, too much. Some of the things do, of course. But Sounds like there's more hype around it than anything. Um, I, I don't know for sure though. It, uh, I'm happy everyone got their sim update 12 though. Okay, so we're right on course and we're offset by what? 189, 20 degrees almost, 21 degrees. Just keep an eye on our speed there, below 100. Looking for flight level 100. There's a 7,000, we can mess with the altimeter now. Yeah, 
little off course. Put it down to about a thousand feet per minute. We're losing too much speed. Don't want to get a stall flag on my on-air flight report. <laughs> See, it makes you a better pilot. Helps make you a better pilot. Only you can be a better pilot. So we'll put that nose down. We're getting close to uh, cruise here. Rid of the props, back to 75. Fine to go after autopilot, put on ELT. And nav, let's see if nav holds. Seems to be fighting with me lately. There we go. Maybe it'll catch now. Yeah, we'll go over our checks. Checks all look good. Landing lights are off. Cruise checks. Power set. Uh, sorry, props are set. Power is just over 40 there. We're about 300 pounds per side for fuel, so looking good. And a hair over uh, flight level 100, where you'd need oxygen, I would. Imagine you don't want to end up with any hypoxia. This is a cargo plane, so you'd guess that the uh, pilot would have his oxygen bottle. All right. Okay, guys. Things are looking good here. I believe we'll catch you on the other side. Alright guys, we're 20-ish miles from Edinburgh. Do our descent checks here. Quantity selector, quantities low. Selector's normal. Caution lights appropriate. The ice is still on. Cabin signs, you need to worry about those. Landing lights, we turn that on. And our weather for uh, Edinburgh is 28 knots, 240. Six and a quarter mile. Uh, two nine or one two or two and H nine eight six. So. Go ahead and slow down. And that wind's already pushing us. We're already just about 19 miles now. So. Set our altitude down to about uh, 4,000. Put it in VS mode. Let her descend us down around 1,000 per minute. And nine or eight six Q and H. Yeah, we're moving fast in the wind. Our ground speed is not slowed down, but there we go. Follow our heading and go off of uh, our V lock here. Oops, it's the wrong one. 
heading in 241. And Edinburgh, it's the other side of the river there. Come back around and line ourselves up. A little bit of power for that wind that we got going on. Edinburgh traffic, uh, November 3845 Bravo, type uh, Twin Otter, it's 15 miles north, inbound uh, runway 24 ILS. We'll report uh, on final for runway 24 uh, ILS, Edinburgh traffic. All right, guys, we're back here. Nearly going to uh, intercept here any minute. Let's see Edinburgh over there to the right. Do a cups check. Gas looks good, good as it can be. Undercarriage, we can tap the brakes. Props, we can bring those up. It's going to cause us to slow down with the drag. Just readjust the throttle here. Pumps are on, landing lights are on. Do flaps in a minute here. And we got a center on if you want to listen to that. Underboro traffic, uh, November 3845 Bravo, the uh, 15 mile final, runway 24 ILS established. Underboro.
fully turn into that now, I think. Like I say, guys, I'm no pilot, but uh, definitely a sim pilot. <laughs> Put her in approach mode and see what happens. Ember traffic, tailwind flank to Mike, is the airborne Ember traffic. Out of our traffic, uh, KLM, have a good flight. Thank you, you too. Have a nice landing. Here we got approach mode locked in, so oh, we could probably freehand this one. The the wind, the heavy winds are straight down the runway, so wouldn't be a bad float in. But uh, we'll leave it up to the autopilot. The 28 knot winds are straight, like straight down the runway, 240 degrees, so couldn't be any better. Go 120 speed until about five nautical miles, then we'll slow ourselves down a bit. You can see approach mode is starting to descend us a little bit here. Let's go through another landing check. We're landing flaps set. We'll do that after. Full forward, yes they are. We got our landing lights on, pitot heat's on, pumps are on. Not too too worried about the speed with the descent. Go too much quicker than 130 though. Indicated. So you can see our ground speed. Like it's 92 with that wind, so <laughs> strong wind, right? Edinburgh traffic, uh, November 3845 Bravo, 10 mile final, runway 24 ILS, fully established, full stop, Edinburgh. See that water's a little choppy. <laughs> Waves are coming at us. I mean, this, this flight simulator is the best flight simulator guys I know being Microsoft and all it uh, it's a sobo more than anything but see the white caps in the water Okay, getting closer, Just watching our speed there, seven and a half miles, eight miles on my SciTech panel here. Start to get a visualization of the, uh, the runway. City of Edinburgh. That ground speed's still right there around 90. 
Okay, we do a cups check. Gas looks good as it can be. Undercarriage tap the brakes. Props are full for landing. Um, throttle with just that nice sec. Landing lights are on. Pedo heat's on. Fuel pumps are on. So we'll slowly come back on the uh, throttle. Bleed off some of that airspeed. Get down to 100 indicated. Introduce some flaps. We'll go 20 degrees, keeping the white arc. In the 50s for my frames, which is normal around Edinburgh. Just uh, low 50s. Big airport like this, so. I was trying to see if update 12 did anything different, but uh, so far for me it's more of the same. Which isn't such a bad thing. Never know with updates, changes everything, all the dynamics. Edinburgh traffic uh, November 3845 Bravo is a uh, four and a half mile final, runway 24 ILS, fully established, full stop Edinburgh. top of the uh, NDB there, you can see the instrument turning around. We'll try and get off on Charlie, it shouldn't be an issue with the wind. Make a left turn onto Charlie and then uh, go Alpha, Papa, Stand 200. Right here on the east side, northeast side there. North eight four zero at thirty three knots. Thirty three knots. Wow. So our ground speed is what? Like sixty fifty seven. Sixty four. Okay. We'll come back a bit on the throttle. Stay in that white arc. Type of wind you don't want to lose too much speed. You'd...
take control any second here. All right, I got control. The yaw damper there. Landing time logged. See my frames are a bit choppy here, around 40-ish. We'll get rid of those slabs, we're gonna need a lot of power into the wind. Definitely get off on Charlie. Pedo, he can go off. Landing and put her taxi lights on. And about traffic, uh, November 38, 3845 Bravo is clear of the active taxiing to stand 200 via Alpha Papa. Watch what I'm doing there. <laughs> okay, let's try and taxi again. The winds are messing with us. Now they'll be pushing us. Pull the yoke back. So the winds were the game today, guys. So here's Papa here. Just want to turn those ailerons into the wind. I do believe that's the correct procedure. All right, here we are at stand 200. I don't think I'm gonna get lined up much better than this, maybe, I could try. Yeah, that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the brake on there. Put the engine up to idle. Feather back the prop. Go through our checks here. What do you guys think of that flight? Wasn't the worst thing, was it? It's pretty good, I thought. Park your brake, we feather the props. The generators go off. Fuel levers go off. Engine off time log. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Boost bumps can go off. And all lights can go off, which will turn off after everything shuts down. Avionics can go off. Alright. There's our lights. I'll hit the strobe lights. Forgot our bleed air. Hey, it's okay. Was all off. All right. Battery. Open up the cargo doors. And I think it's time for a new livery on our next one, guys. About due for that. Thanks for flying with me today again. From Inverness to Edinburgh. 
This is also a uh, marketplace airport. I can't remember exactly who it's by, but uh, it's in the marketplace under Edinburgh. I think there's two of them in there. What I remember. Um, try and get the name when I exit out of here, but uh, link in the description anyway. All right, guys. Really appreciate you flying with me today. Love all the subscriptions, all the likes, comments, everything's welcome. Suggestions, anything. Alright. Remember, stack them sats, and we will catch you on the next one.